This presentation is on the uh, back of um, what's been hemorrhaging and filtering out the media and a few points I've picked up and I've drawn this um, just a quick key to demonstrate from the Word of God I'm, I'm presenting a testimony of the Holy Bible from the authorised King James uh, Standard Measure of Truth and in the light of the Word and the truth revealed in the Word looking at the fruits in the, in the world and discerning between uh, truth and error what's good and what's um, evil and by the uh, knowledge of the light by the grace of the light um, able to share a testimony and invitation and outreach to anyone who's seeking seeking the light seeking the truth in this uh, confused fallen world so I've drawn a quick key uh, for an audio presentation which was really on the back of a few uh, contradictions that are repetitive in the media that um, if you're not paying attention if you're indifferent you're you may uh, you may miss them so I've done a diagram to, to um, help from the Word of God show from the fruits of the fall of nature and what's in mankind and how that only God is good and how um, evil opposes all that is good and it's good that's revealed all that is evil so I've, do, I've drawn a, a simple diagram as a mindset as a um, as a key to the understanding uh, the audio presentation I, I've already prepared so I'm uh, just doing this video as a, a visual of uh, some of the key points and looking at the two branches and the seed and mainly from the Word of God, the, the light of God, from the book of Genesis and the principles of creation, the source of that truth, as, a, as opposed to uh, the alternatives, the, uh, the world view, man's philosophies, the Darwinistic theory, that uh, creation comes from chaos, there's no, no order to it, and survival of the fittest and the most intelligent have the right to dominate or the most good and it's justified to cut out the bad and and from the word of God and from the truth uh, this chart I've just drawn to reveal in history where good becomes wrong where right becomes wrong and wrong becomes right and and to observe that 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 fruit from the knowledge of the word by examining the word and testing the fruits in the world which will confirm that the word is true and that the word is uh, correct, it's holy, it's pure and it's a gift of God so this key is just to um, a timeline of uh, of history of the human race of that good that good principle, that good source and, and that which is opposing it, the, the counter that is evil so there's pure evil and there's pure holiness and goodness and um, and then the counterfeits in the world today the fruits and looking at the time of Christ of the of the word made um, made flesh who dwelt among his own people from his own race from the root of the Jewish people from the word that was revealed through the prophets so the author of that word become flesh, the, the author of creation, the word of God, the son of God became um, flesh and to, holy, kept the law of given to his people, given to uh, the Israelites to keep them in the way but it, it never took away sins so Jesus come to take away the sins of all mankind and he uh, suffered a cursed death for all the sins of the world and he was resurrected and gained the victory over all sin because he completed the law he's the only one who lived the law because he was holy and god eternally so his innate his nature is eternal and he exposed our eternal natures which is unholy so in 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 the world we have a potential to do either good or evil we're like clay at the beginning we're innocent but we are 
prone to sin. We've got that in our DNA from the fall of mankind. So from the book of Genesis, we have the root and, and nature of all the human race. So you can't cut out the bad bits and, and the good bits remain, claim that they are holy because the whole, the whole human race is uh, genetically flawed, it's uh, faulty. So there's no um, perfect holy person except Christ because he overcome, he was holy eternally so he overcome human nature, he overcome sin and he overcome death. So he was um, able to resurrect his body that was killed, that was uh, murdered. And because he was holy in life, he brought he, he had power to bring that up from the grave. And the gospel went from Israel, from the Jewish people, from Christ the Messiah, to the Lord Jesus Christ, the Saviour of all mankind. And, and out of that uh, route, out of that city, the gospel was spread to all the world. But uh, um, it was a faithful record and witness, and anyone can receive that witness by faith. Just like in the old days, that they believed in a kingdom to come, but they never saw the kingdom. But but their faith, um, they had faith in that, uh, justified by their faith in that hope to come, and that kingdom to come. And the king came with the kingdom because he was the king and the kingdom, because he was a spiritual. He's God, so God became man. He became flesh to draw all men unto himself. But that was um, denied, and you see the evidence and the fruit, if you know where to look, of, of this concealment of his uh, resurrection, and, and it was uh, traditionally written that uh, his disciples stole the body away and faked his death. Recently I saw a documentary on a tomb that they found with a triangle over the top and a line across the triangle and a dot in it or something, some mystical... Um, symbol and imagery on the on the tombstone, and the name of the tomb was Yeshua, and the mother was uh, Mary or uh, Miriam. But um, completely, um, in my opinion, a counterfeit. You know, p possibly if it is as old as they say it is, it was possibly um, somebody was uh, somebody who had died, who'd been put in a. Uh, a casket with the name Jesus and Mary just to uh, cover up the truth of um, the Lord's resurrection and, and uh, all the people that come out of the grave that w which was witnessed by uh, many people in that, that time and we have a faithful witness and record of, of, of that event by those who witnessed it, those who received the word and were saved and today that, that that witness and that faithful report and that light and that resurrection, that power, that grace and glory remains uh, faithful so it can be received by any sinner who uh, believes and receives the forgiveness of sins and is redeemed and purchased by, by, by the Saviour uh, who done a job that no man can do for himself and that's perfect the human race, put it right, that which is inherently wrong. He done it from the inside out, he done it from eternity, he came into eternity and he offers that change of heart, that life and that life and gift can only come through the Son of God, the Word of God, the second member of the triune Godhead that, that offered his life for the glory of his Father and his Father was glorified in his offering because he was faithful and true to his father's word, because he was his father's word, he is his father's word, he is the light and, and saviour. So the gospel went forward, but the the truth was concealed, and it, and the um, the gospel had free course, but it was had a, the opposition of the dominant powers, because it would uh, set people free from captivity and the yoke of bondage and the the uh, pagan. Uh, mystery religions and all all the prizes that go with it, all the privilege and seats of, of world domination and power. So this is where the truth, if you look in history, starts to be turned turned on its head, and history's rewritten, and, and Christianity was hijacked by that same 
for so this key is to look at the uh, the root and the source and like the holy holy word of God has a, a faithful root um, the New Testament's in Greek but it's of a Hebrew root it was given by Hebrew all the gospel was uh, revealed first to a Hebrew foundation before it was shared with the Gentile believer the Gentile world today who is um, invited to receive uh, what the Jews were promised and then it was like the door was open to every 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 man woman and child that was the purpose of the Lord bringing Israel into existence and um, you know to to graft in all that was wild into into that which was holy but the holy the holy tree reject the branches rejected the root of the of the tree and uh, that allowed the gospel to be preached, the the hope of salvation and the law, the love, the grace of God to be and the promise to come in the in, in God's kingdom, which is received in the recipient in the uh, in the believer, was offered to the Gentiles, and so it's for the Jews and the Gentiles, and it's open today, and that where. Uh, that's remained true and faithful but it's had the opposition which is counterfeit so it's crossed the wires and the truth has been admitted through history and denied even though uh, people fear the gospel they know it's true and they they strip the goodies and they uh, deny the they throw the baby out of the bath water but they want they want the bathtub for themselves to put their own holy works in it and show that they're that they're in charge and you, you've got this um, mystery religion and all this um, counterfeit of the truth and it's black and white if you've received the author and, and the the source of all, all goodness and truth and you have that um, confirmed within you and that's uh, confirmed in the word of God so you know it's faithful and then you know that um, you're a sinner, the whole world's a sinner, and it's lost, and only God can save that which is lost and inherently flawed. And then, then the world is black and white, then it's, uh, it's good and evil, there's no, there's no uh, grey area. Uh, confusion is of the devil, it's of lies, the father of all lies, it's of deception, it's, it's of people not telling you the truth. So I'm p on the back of things I've caught on telly, uh, all the debates on the news, all the uh, political winds that blow in one after the other, the stories, uh, uh, f and the cultivation of propagation of Islam, of homosexuality, of climate change, how they use little children and they cultivate them in fear, parade them on the telly as heroes and idols to lead the charge against climate change where when we haven't got all the evidence who are the, what is actually going on what is who are the proponents of climate change but they run with the fear story and start putting the burden on on the public it's all to uh, yoke the public into bondage and captivity and fear with all these new stories and then the rolling forth of um i saw on uh, cannabis i'm going to talk about that and what they don't tell you about cannabis and what's associated with it so this is really a key to recognize the fruits and how history's been turned on its head rewritten how the the truth has been choked and how to spot the lies by the word of god by the grace and glory of god revealed in the holy word and which which is which source is true like the the holy word you've got the scriptures you've got the old testament and the new testament and the King James Bible is a faithful source, it's got a faithful root. And then you've got all the counterfeits that are, are impure. They've got part truth in them, but they're mixed with counterfeit. So they're wrong, they're in error. And it there's um, more, more against than there is, um, there's only one true standard. But and there's so many counterfeits and variations of the same standard trying to distort the picture, trying to uh, 
muddy the waters. Um, the truth about homosexuality, the truth about cancers, the truth about medical knowledge and uh, health and the human biology, all, all these things have been known and measured but they're removed and concealed and people are farmed in ignorance, uh, education has been taken control of. So I'm looking at all the fruits that are apparent from this branch, from this Gnostic, dualistic, which is good and evil being of the same nature, that God is both good and evil, and that, that you've got all these different expressions of worship and all this confusion and counter-information um, and counter-science. So it's, it's difficult for the world in ignorance to see, because they haven't got knowledge of history, where the antagonist is, where the pro, uh, opponents are, and what, what route do they come from? What philosophy is it, um, does it support? And they, so that if you look in the world, um, evil uses good to smash against something it raised as evil, so it can choke an environment cultivate um, depravity and then offer a, a fake solution so evil is very cunning very de divisive and people are prone to be swayed by it be, to be compromised and to be take for that compromise to, to take a hold of what their choices are and what their activities are and the whole world is merged in this um, soup of confusion and um, it gives a biased picture and the powers behind the world um, take dominance of what is um, broadcast, what gets into the public media. So the media will pl show, show both hands but it never show. It, it always takes the devil's side, it always takes the authority over whatever it, it, it decides and whatever it casts its light on and decides to uh, shine its um, spotlight on, it can be biased, it can be uh, abused and it can be sponsored, it can be compromised and it can also be wild and it doesn't really reveal what the true intentions are, what reveals the true intentions are, what we're left with and what, what the impression we're given and the uh, circumstances we find ourselves in which um, which which never seem to really change, they just seem to get worse so there's no really grey area, there's, it's black and white and this show, the, I'm looking at um, the fruits of um, Gnosticism and uh, the bettering oneself by whatever avenue you, you choose and, and looking at the models of these systems and where they root from, where they all root from and uh, how the, the only way to be bettered is to understand that you're a sinner and that only Christ, only his righteousness can, uh, is good and confessing you're a sinner and seeking his forgiveness for all your sins it's then he will give you his, uh, purchase you, purchase your life and he give you his spirit, his righteousness and you will be his, you won't be your own and the world um, and that will change your heart, that will change your mind, that will change your life but the world won't change and it won't change itself and it cannot change itself so I'm looking at the fruits, the roots and this key just shows you where how good become evil and evil become good and, and, and before it was just positive and negative left and right but now we've got Left, we got um, yin and yang, yang and yin. We got uh, left and right is on the left, and right and left is on on the right, and it and all it causes is grey, and nobody knows what the truth is because the truth's on both sides, but it's only partly tr true mixed with error, and so the truth is kept from you in the centre. So you you go both side and you're confused, and that confusion is cultivated, and people can't see where it comes from. It's divisive and it's not necessarily done by a conspired body of um, intelligent people. It, it, it's done by all people in the like, in the like same nature and motive because we're uh, sinners and mammon and greed and pride and uh, 
the eye, you know, the lust of the, the flesh and the pride of life and the fear of losing out or the fear of um, losing power and having power. There's so many avenues of sin that can uh, tempt the human race and take hold in people's lives and draw a lot of people away into error. And the whole world's in error. And uh, the dominant powers and who they are, you can see the fruits today. So I wanted to mention just uh, a few avenues where I've caught out some contradictions in the media, how they uh, take sides on and reveal that, uh, show themselves that they that they knew a truth and now that the public bodies realise that something's got into the public conscience and knowledge that they play the upper hand to try and own own the, own, own the truth and, and can keep hold of it rather, and not be discovered that they were concealing the truth and playing the other face only five minutes previous and that, that that's happened quite a lot on um, uh, teaching of looking after immune system to help you fight cancer that was an announcement by the NHS also uh, announcing research found that sugar feeds cancer and they knew that a long time ago so there's many things I caught out so I just wanted to give um, a key to the timeline the time of Christ and how it's heading back towards the final prophecy in, uh, of the gospel and salvation to the Jews to, to, to be realised in the, the nation of, of the Jewish people, 144,000 in the, in the prophecy to come in the time of Jacob's trouble, in the time of tribulation, time of judgement which is to come in prophecy which is unfolding and how to see the fruits pointing towards the inevitability of the, of the human race and how God is merciful, sovereign stretched out with the gospel and how it's been revealed in the holy word of god to be measured to, so that this is an invitation for people to measure from a true source and believe have faith to put to put it to the test and see that the uh, fallen nature within in the world and the fruits see it within yourself and see it within in the world and ha and the source of that and then the truth revealed in the Word of God, because the Word of God, it's its own authority. It it, it will um, teach what is uh, true. It's established. It's a, a ruler. It can be misused. It can be uh, you can make a mistake with it, but the Word is true. It's faithful, and so is the author. And he's the author and the finisher of life. The author and finisher of evil. Uh, he's created all things, so all things are in his sovereign power. So he's uh, stretched out today, Jew and Gentile, that they may be, that all may be saved and um, know him personally, have a knowledge of him, or be known by him, be purchased by him. They'll have a change of heart in their lives, and uh, that's the only thing that would sort the world out. But the world's going to reject that. So. Um, it's down to every individual soul to get their lives in order, to get their salvation, to receive their salvation because they can lose it. So this is what the invitation's for and to uh, measure the truth of the word of God from what's revealed in creation, what's revealed in creation science from the book of Genesis revealed by the word of God, revealed by the Lord, given to the human race to understand and comprehend the uncertainty of this world and and why we live in darkness, why we, why it's a uh, why it's wicked and why is there good and evil, and uh, and the the merging of that, the mixing of that, the corruption of that, the perversion of it, and how all the fruits are manifest in the world today, and um, and how it confuses. That's what that that little drawing there. That's what it. That's black and white. And they've uh, someone's crossed over the tracks, so the 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 left is taking the face of the right and the and, and making out that the the good face is now the bad face. So it's uh, muddied the waters. It's crossed the tracks, and that can be rooted in history from Christ and from Rome, and from all the uh, all the similar things that support that, whether they 
don't necessarily agree on everything, but they all they're all antichrist. They're all against what is best and what's right and what's been revealed. And this key will help you um, comprehend where my uh, discussion's coming from, so it can be uh, measured. And then the invitation is for people to uh, examine these things for themselves, not to trust me but to put their faith in, in the living God and trust his word revealed in the King James. And then that will reveal the source of all evil, the source of good, and where good is in the world, where it's manifest, the good fruits, and how the good fruits are misabused, they're misappropriated, they're held up falsely, they're used, um, how good, good intentions are used in the face to deceive people with a hidden intention behind the back of it and how merging of evil and good will never work it's um and where this root comes from and the mystery schools and the old world pagan order and all its associates and all the modern philosophies that are joined to it that's what what uh, this charts for and, and uh, my testimony and invitation so there we go that's the uh, diagram and the simplicity of uh, right and wrong, left and right. And looking at, um, well, did evil uh, acknowledge itself as evil or did, did the light, did good reveal the evil? Because evil ain't gonna reveal its intentions because it's, it's in the dark, it's secret, and it's opposed to good. Because um, evil wants dominance, wants all the glory, whereas good is uh, not seeking its own glory but it is glorious and so you got black and white it's the light that revealed the darkness the darkness didn't switch the light on and, and say oh I'm dark the light's just revealed me no the light has always been light and it revealed the darkness because light created the darkness and the darkness couldn't comprehend the light so until you receive the light you won't see that if you're, you think you're good you won't see your own evilness you won't see the darkness in you you see only your own goodness, and that, that's the trouble with the world, that um, it all, it's all gone its own way, because it's admitted the truth, the light, the source. So this is just a simple measure and a key to this uh, presentation. Continuing on from the key of my video uh, introduction, I'm going to start with the uh, from from G Genesis and the knowledge gained from the Word of God by testing that which is, discovering that that's edifying. It's actually true and faithful to what it teaches. That knowledge gained, and looking at human nature, uh, genetic inheritance, blood inheritance, sin inheritance, fault inheritance. The knowledge I have of. Um, uh, crossing genes and hybrids and fruit pl different different varieties and whether that's in animals whether that's in plants whether that's in humans having that basic knowledge gained and established from the truth from the jet book of genesis which came from eternity it came from came from heaven it came from a just holy god um, an eternal god a loving God, a faithful God, a just God, and He revealed it in within His um, branch, within from heaven, and from the seed of Genesis. Genesis came after. Um, it didn't. Um, it wasn't taught in Christ's time. It was already revealed in that people's history, in that um, from that seed, from creation, from Genesis from the flood, from uh, Abraham, from that, from the faithful line, from the kings, from the people, from the prophets, and from that root, and that trunk, and those branches, and then the faithfulness of, of the fruits of uh, righteous living, and then the uh, comparison of uh, sin and disobedience to the law, and to the way that God revealed to his people. So from heaven, from the eternal 
abode from the author, from the source, came the truth revealed to Moses. And then we have, the, that's where the book of Genesis comes. So it comes kind of in a an odd point in time, a, a measured point in time, a, a point in time where God revealed it to you, his, his word. His, he revealed his word, he revealed his truth, his light, which come from the Father, which come from the Word, come from the Son, Jesus Christ, was revealed through Moses of the, of the beginning of creation. So create, the Creator revealed creation, and He give us an outline, He give us uh, evidence, He give us the free, and he, and, he, and he chose a mouthpiece from that line of people, which came the, uh, the tree of Israel, the people of Israel. Then, then we have all the divisions, and then the, and then the uh, law, and then right and wrong, and then revealing that, and then the fulfilling of the law, the establishing of the law, the completion of that law, the author and the finisher establishing that love on the cross, manifesting himself in the flesh, dwelling, dwelling with us, dwelling with his people, revealing his faithfulness which went out to the whole world which we have we have the word of god and even that root is a faithful translation it's all it's all from a hebrew source it, it, and the the old testament translation is a faithful root a faithful branch of that original revealed word to the hebrew people then we have the new testament which was also revealed in greek and from a Hebrew root. So we have a Gentile interpretation through a Hebrew interpreter given in, in a Gentile um, a Gentile standard copy of that Hebrew word, of that root, of that light, of that source, of that living water revealed through his word as it was revealed through the word in the prophets, the word in the patriarchs, the word, the word revealed little by little, bit by bit, through history, through the people, through life, through the, the growing up of that seed. And that seed is faithful because that, that can be measured. So we know from the light what was revealed sin and sin is genetically inherited. So we know Genesis, we know creation. We know it's faithful. We know that faithful science comes from a true source of measuring that which is because false science brings forth false evidence, false fruit, so, so it's a lie. So all mod a modern um, science today is taken from a, a true standard and if you're honest and you observe you'll see that there's double standards of there's confusion to what is really revealed as standard or what is really known and then what is hidden, what is uh, hidden behind the back and uh, all the goodies are taken from that uh, all the fruits taken off the branches but what's what what's hidden is the the trunk and the, the source of that that truth and that comes from the darkness have keeping the uh, true knowledge and revealing a false knowledge to keep people in ignorance that's just uh, an evil nature against that which is true it opposes that which is right and when you look at um, Brexit, you look at the um, take uh, the Liberal Democrat Party for um, for example, come openly coming out opposing Brexit no matter what. Well, that was a democratic vote, so that's a open rebellion. And so that those people are openly saying, well, whatever the people have voted, we're going to do all in our power to swing it the other way and pull against it. So. We have this tugging and rebelling. It's just like in the, the doctors um, in hospitals, your and government restrictions. Your mm -hmm. everyone's pulling against everyone else, and the um, the patients compromise. The truth compromise. So um, it, it, if if the restrictions come from up high, the un injustice and the omission of that which is right and that which is true comes from an authority above. A higher authority above that which is acting on the ground and that on the ground has to lump it and they 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 dig their hills in and and show their discontent by 
um, human nature by uh, being put into a situation that they're powerless to deal with. So there's a, a natural tugging and a na natural um, power struggle down the line. And then that, then then there's conflict between the GP because they're la they're landed in it. And so this um, rebellion, this nature, is manifest in all human behaviour so in all avenues and you, you can see it manifest in in the world and the establishment of these um these orders in the in the world today and these compromises and this um muddying of the water, this hiding of the truth and revealing a double r revealing a double standard and and the media show uh, playing both sides, showing the opposition and then showing uh the antithesis of that and playing both sides of always playing the authority of what what the general opinion is what is revealed and what's uh, what's concealed and so we're um, bombarded by this um, fake media so to establish which is true you need knowledge you need uh, and you need something to measure what knowledge is, what what the standard to measure, what will, how do you filter out, how do you filter out the truth from error? If there's truth in everything, how do you uh, find, finally comb through it and and take from an opinion what's true and what and where that opinion is in out of context in error is uh, lacking. So by by the observations of uh, general nature from the knowledge of the truth revealed from uh, Genesis from the inheritance of sin and faultiness and that we can't change ourselves that we are faulty we see that it's manifest in in history in the world and, and nothing's new nothing changes the truth remains standard the truth remains true and the world gets more confused it confused and um, because I know about Genesis, because I know about uh, inheritance, I know that the general ignorance gets um, genetically passed on and it's inherited. So it's cultivated by that which is dominant, which is evil. And that which is evil wants to conceal that which is true and right. Um, so we're so f uh, far up the garden path in our world today, uh, before I get into the current observations and... Uh, we're so far into things that to break free from a complete change and have to put the world right, it's in, it's impossible because it, the word of God's revealed what what the outcome, what the consequences is of unbelief of rejecting God will be, and that's final. That is um, absolute. That's not going to change. And, and that reality will never be um, accepted. So everyone's going to pull their own way. So we're going to get this uh, division, this tussle, this conf um We just don't know. But we just, um, by the truth, we know it's um, prophecy is going to be true. And we can see that manifest. We can only see what is unfolding before us. We can't necessarily uh, see into the future. We just know by the standard of truth what's past, what is, and what's likely and probable, and what's certain to come. It's just not always obvious when it, when it will come or how that will manifest itself. But we can see it manifesting by the truth, by the standard. And so, for example, if it, it, to um, come out of uh, Europe, we were so long into Europe, the reality is it's gonna it's gonna take uh, it's gonna be consequences and and I think the British public accepted those consequences but there's been devices on what the intention of it was and it's like it's always been passed the problem's been passed to the public and then the public can take the blame and then all those who who don't want to come out of Europe will rebel against any efforts that are made to sincerely come out of Europe so the lecturer won't be honoured and, and, and when we're forced or if the um, problem comes that we're forced out of Europe every effort to make it a success will be sabotaged or those who want to get back into Europe that's the nature of politics the, the um, checking and to and fighting and 
underhandedness and the uh, open rebellion and compromise and all playing the same tune towards the same end and uh, putting all the onus on 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 individuals, on, on minorities, on, on the public, on the civilians rather than looking at the overall picture of who's to blame. And uh, everyone's got their part to to play, but it's never focused on the real uh, proponents of of the problem. It, it's um, slight of, um, feigned over to the, uh, dummied over to the public public's responsibility, like um, environmental tax, uh, leaving the European Union, um, all these different things. So we have the standard of uh, human nature and how genetic inheritance is evident through the indifference today and how we are becoming more div divided, fractured, how that standard of truth, that moral uh, people speak of a moral compass, well, if, uh, anyone can decide what their own standard of morality is and have their own moral compass. It could be completely perverse. You know, some one, one person's standard can be another, you know, another person's uh, moral, uh, immoral standard. So uh, there's got to be a standard of truth. There can only be one truth. And uh, being a unsafe sinner, I, I wanted to sincerely, to sincerely know that truth and I came to that source of truth and I received that truth, so I know that truth is faithful and I know that I'm a safe sinner and I know I have that nature and I know the world has that nature and the world remains in denial because I have, I've received the truth and it's faithful, so by the truth I live by. I, and I can't, I cannot live by my own standard because my own standard is sinful, and it doesn't matter how good you are, how what you've been inherited with in this life. You you can never improve you improve what you are. You're sinful, whether you're ninety nine percent good, you're sinful, and you need saving. And um, this is the problem that the. Uh, Jewish Jews will have because the law will never bring perfection it, it, it wasn't designed to bring salvation and take away sins it, it, only Christ could take away the sins by his holiness and he's given that grace to the Jew and to the Gentile so in the end there's going to be um, a problem because uh, if the uh, temple is reinstalled like uh, prophecy reveals it would be in the last days you know, will the um, how the Jews will not be able to take away sins, and then they'll accept their Messiah. He won't agree with. He won't be the Messiah for their eternal sins. The prophecies won't line up. Then, the, then the pro then the word that, that has been revealed will reveal that what who they've accepted is is the uh, false Messiah, and they'll reveal that that salvation is and came from from heaven from grace from jesus christ and that's what uh, israel will believe in the last days and uh, and against that will be the uh, returning to re-establishing that which was um completed it was uh, f fulfilled by the lord jesus christ so the law was taught to teach and keep them in line of that which is unholy so it was given by that which is holy, but by keeping it, it didn't make you holy. You couldn't keep the law. And Christ demonstrated by keeping the law, dying for the sins of all mankind. So the law was abolished. Not not the law, not, not the heart, not the spirit of the law, but the apparatus to teach the law was fulfilled by Jesus Christ, who established the law by his love, by his grace. Mm. So we'd receive that that light, that law in, in the heart. It would be a circumcision of the heart and not of the flesh, which was the covenant. So the covenant was fulfilled and renewed, the new and everlasting covenant. And in the last days that will, will be witnessed by the two olive branches who will be, um, they will be saved. They will have that um, eternal light, that eternal oil in their lives. And they will be witnesses to Israel, and then Israel as a nation will have that eternal oil 
in their hearts they'd be regrafted into their the source of that light who's Jesus Christ that was the, the Lamb of God who was slain a curse for all mankind who was sin for us who paid the debt that we could receive his forgiveness his holiness so we have by the light the nature of that which is opposing love mercy and truth and we have the, all the counterfeits and in in Genesis we have the revealing of the nature of creation and the inheritance of um, genes um, and species and and groups within species and and then we have the counterfeit of Darwinism which reveals completely the opposite and if you look in the world you'll see that all all, all faithful science all all uh, all that's good all that helps mankind all that's a blessing to mankind mm. comes from the root of Genesis just like the scriptures like the King James Bible comes from a faithful root and then you've got a counterfeit which is dirty which is muddy which has got logs in the water which has got crocodiles and alligators in and it's you can't see it it's not clear and it's poisonous and so you've got two roots of scripture and you've got all these modern translations that come from this corrupt mm evil root and this source and you've got this pure holy source which is the King James Bible which which comes from the faithful source and the root which is Hebrew and which was translated into Greek and collected with the Hebrew text of the Old Testament so we have the old and the new from the same faithful author and finisher of, of that light of that word the word of God the living God mm. Jesus Christ so that I'm going to uh, continue with um, just some current affairs and observations that I've been observing and absorbing that I'd just like to apply that measure of that standard of truth to the general observations of our current affairs today in politics, in in civil, social life and, and, and generally a general overview of the world and what I've observed. Before I get on to general observations of uh, current affairs, I just want to consider the um, genetic inheritance um, of the blood, of the genes, is uh, predominantly from the, the father. And uh, it's, I, um, I don't know what the absolute truth is about the Jewish people and the current... Um, diversity and opinion of um, which, which people are Jews, which people are not those Jews who are posing as Jews and which will, and you get you always get that evil body, that nature and um, activity from various uh, bodies of behavior where they uh, do evil in the name of good. so they put on the face of good and dis discredit something that's true by disguising themselves um, in the truth to give something a bad reputation whether that's Christianity whether that's the truth about the Jewish people whether whether that's revealing something tr true that's um, bad you know like a counterfeit of something false uh, an imitation and the truth reveal it and then you'll get the um, um, counterintelligence against that truth to uh, divide opinion and, and cause confusion and indifference so people don't know who's telling the truth because you have somebody telling the open truth and somebody standing in the name of the truth give it, uh, openly uh, lying so um, it's difficult to um, no, because we don't have access to every single knowledge and I, I just wanted to throw this in there I just want to state that I do believe today that the genuine uh, Jewish race um, I don't want to be accused of anti-Semitism and that la that's a divisive label um, I, I, I personally call it general prejudice in, in any any behaviour of um, human treating a human ha um, wrongly, unjustly and unfairly um, I, I'm not a proponent of um, 
fighting for a, uh, injuring someone that has an opposing cause. I don't believe in persecuting homosexuals. I don't believe in beating up transgender people. These are people. Firstly, these are human beings. I just don't believe and agree with their with uh, what they hold to as right. I don't completely understand everything. I just know that which is true. And so, regarding the uh, blood inheritance and genetic inheritance, it's taught and it's faithful that we uh, inherit our from the father's blood. So. I know that um, predominantly I'm of, of my father, I'm of his um, inheritance, but within the inheritance of my mother and her father. So I'm emerging of the uh, those four genetic lines, those two Y's and those two X's, but predominantly I'm my father's. So I'm predominantly the, the Y of my father's surname. So that's how in in Genesis, in the uh, Word of God, in the in in the um, Deuteronomy, in, in the scriptures where the um, in the Exodus, where where it's recorded in the inheritance of the uh, seed and of the uh, branches, that it's from the Father's blood, and uh, we see uh, a pattern of the. Uh, true nature of genetic inheritance and that's been switched because um, it confused me to discover that um, your Jewishness is is measured from your mother's side so your mother's got to be a Jew so I mean has my consideration just adding this point so that's why I wanted to stress I don't, I, I don't want to cause any uh, Suggesting I'm saying that the people in Israel aren't a true seed of uh, Israel because I, I, I do believe that the true hearted people of Israel are in Israel and uh, I don't believe that there's um, I believe the opposing the, the counterfeit is against that and acting amongst it and, and in the in the background but I don't I don't know and I don't believe it's predominantly uh, the people in um, Israel today in Jerusalem aren't, aren't of that lineage. So I wanted to stress that, but I just want to consider the switching of the um, genetic inheritance and, and I wondered, well, why is it, have, has the truth been concealed and you're given a counterfeit to conceal the true identity of that race? And are you being sold? Um, are we being sold? Are, and so the um, people who have the true knowledge know they have the true knowledge, but the predominant the predominant knowledge is counterfeit. So the truth remains um, shut away and locked down amongst the loads of error. So I wanted to share that general observation: how the uh, knowledge has been changed, how history has been changed in so many ways how um, even our own heritage in the UK has been uh, written out. Education's been uh, adulterated and the attention's been steered away from the con continuity that once was. I see my own, um, I was put back a year, so I was, uh, but I was never told. I was the youngest of one generation and put in, in back in another one, so there's a, there's a lot of mixing that you don't know, you can't really see the the general whole picture, whether this is just by uh, bad, but you know, bad management and human error, or is this calculated and uh, genuinely uh, planted to, to create that error, to tussle, to cause that a disruption, to, to um, chop up the truth, to muddy up the waters, to, to remove people from where they should be and arrest their development, you know, and considering all the uh, knowledge and the uh, the misuse of knowledge, whether that's knowledge for good, whether that's uh, using genetic creation knowledge for improving and enhancing and helping, or if you're using that knowledge to uh, be perverse and corrupt and using that and concealing what's good and holding out what's counterfeit or dishonest or divisive against that which is true. So you're using knowledge for the wrong reason, you're using the true knowledge and selling uh, 
selling the world a, a, a lie and uh, holding all the goodies for yourself and you can see the evidence in when you examine uh, creation science genetic inheritance and all the knowledge that is um, made money out of and but what it, but when you look at the what is available the knowledge available it's all counter that um, a lot of um, of the cross species um, skulls they find and the things in the museums are just um, artist impressions made up from one little fragment it's theory based it's not scientific and evidence based it's based on one piece of evidence within a theory that doesn't which isn't completely stacks up because it's a lie and if you measure true inheritance you'll see that the human race has always been the human race the dog race has always been the dog race and the cat race has always been the cat race trees have always been the same you try and breed an apple tree with an orange tree and you put them in a, a garden of eden or a, an inv you, you create an artificial environment where you can speed up time and you see if that orange develops into an apple it is just it uh, genetics is um let's say a potency in a, in a poison in a plant is is genetically recorded it doesn't it won't get any more poisonous it can only that that genetic inheritance can only diminish or sustain itself or it'll be crossed with something that's more poisonous and it will come that poisonous could be singled out and bred into other parts of that genetic makeup you can't add you can only only take from what you've been given and what what creation has provided so you can test that creation science is uh, true and uh, it remains true today that the blood inheritance remains true so it begs the question what is the truth about the jewish people why is that being why is that knowledge being concealed why is the gospel of jesus christ being concealed why is um darwinism being taught in schools where does this uh, root come from and then you study history you can see it comes from the the uh gentiles from the rome from the dominant forces and the the designs of mammon and, and what that cultivates in the general population of the world and that's sin, that's un, that comes from unbelief so genetic inheritance can be um, is true to the creation science not to Darwinism and Darwinism promotes lies, it promotes um, greed, it promotes the pride of life it sets one nation against another and it, and, and uh, you get this lie, this um, propagated um, rhetoric that um, that all nations. Are, are, I'm not a support na necessarily a nationalist, but just a believer in truth and common sense. And to say that um, you need to be a united world, a united nations. You're stronger as a united nation. Well. It, it, it's a dichotomy because you can be independent you can be a neighborhood everybody can live their own independent lives but you could be a united community of independent sober good upstanding moral people it doesn't mean you have to mingle with everybody it doesn't mean you have to do the same things it doesn't mean you have to share a currency in a checkbook you can um, still be a uh, keep your independence and remain um, as a um, to help your neighbour when you, when they're in need. You don't this uh, rhetoric that we all have to be uh, one one European body. And uh, looking at that seed and that root that comes from Roman Catholicism. That's the powers behind the dominant forces of of the world. And that's where and that's how I've learned to see from the Word of God that which is true. Which is what 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 we have in this country is, is part of our inheritance, but it's corrupted by that compromise, by that opposition, and um, ma the majority today is compromising our our inheritance from that source, from that Hebrew source, and that's why there's anti-Semitism in a true sense, in a a prejudice against the Jewish people. That's why Islam is against the Jewish people that's why Rome and the modern church uh, the modern counterfeit Christianity the state religion 
the predominant um, apostasy within those bodies, corrupting um, any good in there, is predominantly against the seed of Israel, and they have both justified persecuting or supporting the persecution of that race. Um, if you if you studied the um, injustices of World War Two, there's Jews today still going through courts trying to get um, their wealth that was confiscated by the British. There's so many injustices by every nation, every Gentile nation against the Jewish people. There's this nature, this, um, and this is led by the devil because he wants to destroy that that truth and that source of people, whether whether they're liked, whether they're well behaved, or what what, what corner they are put into. They have a they have a um, the, if you compare all the nations with Israel, you can see, you, you, you'll be hard pressed to see which nations were the greatest sin. And um, when you consider our own history, we can see that our, our own behavior, we, ha we have no right to cast stones at um, a fledgling independent nation. It's their right, it's their land, it's their inheritance. And it's like in our own country, we have that in common, that our inheritance is being eroded. And that's why you have anti-Semitism. That's why, that's why uh, bad labels are put on Christianity. That's why um, Bible believers are in a minority. That's why the Jews are hated. That's why there's counterfeit Jew. There's counterfeit Christianity to to give it a bad name, to hide it, to keep people away from the truth. And so. Um, these things are manifest and they're rooted in, in nature, in the fallen nature of mankind. And the twisting of that which is true to turn away that, to keep people in ignorance and keep the knowledge away from people so that uh, people can be uh, merchandised and exploited and cultivated and kept in ignorance. And, pe and people, if you look at the um, all the Gnostic uh, branches from Masonry are all, all rooted in, all root back to this one body, this one nature, and the crossing of blurring of the lines of the left and right, and right and left. It's and black is white, and white is black. It's all, it's all rooted into um, this fake spiritual uh, belief systems of uh, good and evil are, you, you know. Are sub uh, subjective and that uh, they're, they're of the same, they're of the same kind. Whereas, uh, as the truth teaches, good is good and evil is evil. They're not. They're opposed to one another. Where the merging of this evil comes from masonry. It comes from the mysticism, the schools and thoughts, and the belly and the heart of this ancient pagan Gentile belief, which infected the original source of truth which was in the Hebrews and they become idolaters they become worshippers of, of false gods and it's uh, manifest in the crisscrossing of the truth turning that which is true keeping people in ignorance I saw a documentary recently looking at the um, the church where the uh, they believe the Holy Grail, the Holy Grail mysticism and all, all that branches from the same Gnostic uh, apostate belief system and um, it's affected all, all, all races and all religions and it's a counterfeit to the pure and true religion which, is, uh, which came by from the Jews through Jesus Christ and it was, the, it was featured in the damn um, Dan Brown film, it was in Scotland, I can't really remember the name of the chapel, a famous chapel where they filmed uh, Dan, Dan's Brown, and that's a load of mumbo jumbo, you know, that's a load of Gnostic distraction from the real truth that goes on and the real purpose behind the roots of these uh, Freemasonry and the Jesuits and all the Illuminati and all, all this sort of kind. It's just a, a merging, a muddying of the water where good is evil and evil's good, and you see it on their on their pillars. How Freemasonry has the pillars. It's all taken from the truth. These are all uh, variations of that which is true, and they're counterfeit and 
given this mystical meaning and it's kept in secret and it's hidden knowledge where it's all been revealed in the truth and it's taken from the truth but they don't believe the truth or hold to the truth they just rob the goodies and and hide it and reveal it through craft that they are the keepers of this this uh, mystic knowledge and to enlightenment which is a confusion and it's a counterfeit of the truth and it's all manifest in the in the symbology and the hidden imagery of these uh, counterfeit christian apostate religious systems it's all throughout the middle ages for all throughout the um, roman church and the dominance the crusades the uh, the knights templar they're all they're all antichrist and they're all against christ and they're all in the in the in the costume of christ doing things for their own belly to keep hold of the dominance of uh, the gospel to keep it concealed so they can keep it uh, profit from it profit profit from its popularity hedging all the all that received the truth truly and so it uh, markets it and it can um, operate amongst the guise of its uh, mask and that that's that same root that same beast is is on the earth today and it's um comes from the belly of satan now god created satan but all these all these um mystical religions teach that god is both good and evil he's a he's sick he's a he's a sinner and he's a holy he can't be both it's all counterfeit and it it turns that which is a tr is true into a lie and that's basically the root of all freemasonry all gnosticism it's it's associated to all the fruits of that if you look at the uh recently there's just a program on oh, the debate about legalizing cannabis and the uh, model rolled out in Canada and being invited, politicians invited over to see it, uh, the trial working. Well, what they don't reveal, that's just um, a needle in the eye. You don't see where it, what the intention is once the Trojan horse is accepted and it's out the bag. And then they start, um, nothing changes. It's just that the people who make money make twice as much from both, both wings, both hands, both arms, the underworld and they they corner the market in the name of pharmaceutical pharmaceuticals and then then it's popularized there on on the street it rolls out and you can see this um counterfeit creeping up this um hand of of, of um rivet not concealing not giving you the truth and and trying to pass it off as something where it's um so to conceal what it's associated to and when i know the history of cannabis breeding and the paraphernalia and the underworld and the drugs world i've seen it or i've i've you know I, I i crossed those um paths i saw the um corruption within in the establishment um i've seen it be sourced from very uh, the underworld just establishes it, itself where there's a market and the the um, underworld's been established as long as the um, established orders we see in the public so you'll find it wherever it is and when it's knocked out it just re-events itself but the dominant forces are more powerful and they control it and that all comes through military it comes through criminals within those avenues it comes through air bases it can come through foreign um come through the russians it could come through the chinese it could come through all those avenues and then it can come through legitimate legitimate places like air bases and then that corrupts people so the powers that be end up controlling and profiting from both and the people that are exploited and marketed are the public and the truth is kept back and uh, people are marketed so the the source of all this evil is is satan and it manifests itself in the flesh and then you see the fruits of that in the flesh and it, and and all these uh, branches and manifestations today uh, are concealing that which is true and against that which is is right and that's in history you'll see that that's christianity 
but you won't see that unless you believe Christianity and receive it and believe it and then you'll see it plainly and then you'll see that the, the world's against the Jews and then the world's against those two sources of truth which is the Jewish people and the, our Christian heritage in this country the uh, Reformation the coming out of the faith alone in Christ alone that's what Oliver Cromwell believed he believed that he tried to take the state out of out of what the gospel teaches out of the word of God that was the point of the Reformation but it, it compromised and it remained a state held proponent so they held the goodies but the goodies still spilled out into the public so the so the uh, dominant forces still held up the general consensus and authority of what Christianity should be and what it actually is so the truth's not changed but the proponent is in error and that ha that that's always changing that's always changing shape and that's always compromising that which is true which is against um the Jews and Christianity and and what's right for the poor what's right for the vulnerable what's right for generations past and what's right for generations future and that's why the people who conceal the truth keep people in ignorance and pass off um, all this uh, trans fluidity you know trans fluidness and uh, oh it's alright to do this and, and then it's out of the bag and then and then we get a uh, political immigration and then we're pumped with all this uh, roots, this uh, fruit from this root. Uh, European immigration, it, it muddies the water, it dilutes what we have. It dilutes the truth, it dilutes mor morality and the source and the root of that morality. And so that keeps people further and further away from the truth and then further into compromise, further into to problems and um, further towards the final prophecy of Revelation in the last days which is the removal of the church who are looking out for that which they've already received to escape the wrath to come which is uh, the judgment of the Gentile nations the judgment of the unbelieving Jews the, re the restoring of, of the faithful of the Jewish people, the nation and any Gentiles that remain, the gospel will be uh, still still revealed. The word is still faithful. Um, but those who've rejected that today in their lifetime now, they've rejected the eternal forgiveness of sins and pass into that error. Um, will pass into judgment, into a time of wrath. So. The opportunity to be saved will be lost by some and, and received by others, Jew and Gentile, as it is today. But that time of judgment is approaching and we can see the fruits from the light of God, from the glory of what's been revealed in, in Jesus Christ and his holy word in the King James Bible, which is faithful and which teaches us this, these things. I would have never known these things if it wasn't for faithful saints who'd also received this word and shared it with me, taught it, that I could measure what they were teaching was true and I could put my faith and trust in God and know that he's faithful and it brings forth fruit in my life and I pray for the glory of God, it, it, the Lord's fruitful through that which I do in, in other people's lives, whether I see that or not that, that that's what um, that's what's been um, given to me. That's what I've received from others by His grace, and that's what that 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 which that's what remains faithful today and open for every individual. Doesn't matter who you are, doesn't matter how sinful you are. That the, anyone in the public, any believer seeking that truth, can receive it, and then grow by be straightened within that which they've received and, and be corrected by that that word if they they live to that the word of god and uh remain uh, continue as they faithfully believed at the beginning and uh gr allow the lord to work in their lives um they were the lord's faithful and, and people can know that he's faithful and receive 
that themselves it can't be given it can't be um intellectually taught it has to be appropriated it has to be received and sought out through faith like any knowledge any any um knowledge takes effort it takes research and it takes um examination of what has been revealed and you'll always find that there's misinformation there's opposition there's something that wants to muddy the waters so you need a standard of truth to find find that which is uh, in line with that standard because truth is uh, consistently true so you need a consistent picture and history is very um, vast it's only certain episodes at certain times and certain events it's not every single thing at all at once so and then it gets biased it gets um, you get opinion and divisive opposition against it because the people who um, it reveals as being dishonest don't want the truth to come out, so they will, they will lie, keep their mouth shut, or they will allow um, false information to to remain. I wanted to mention that um, documentary I saw on um, the, I think it was Roswell Chapel to do with the uh, Holy Grail and the Knights Templar and just considering these uh, mystical roots and the proponents, the uh, the fruits of these things and the imagery of of the Freemasonic pillars taken from taken from the uh, knowledge of the Word of God and Solomon's Temple from the pure source then corrupted and this uh, hidden treasure pointing to the holy ground and it links into the bloodline and the heresies and all the mystical belief systems and on one of the pillars was, was this um, opposing helix, this spiral going coiling around the column one way and then crossing over in the opposite direction giving this uh, helix round the, round the column and that and to me that displayed the uh, diverse, the division of you know good and evil and self-elevating the craft by attaining hidden knowledge by um, extra revelation from uh, the source of, of of what they believe is the source of all knowledge and uh, it teaches uh, counter knowledge by concealing that which is true and that which is true is which reveals the true meaning and the uh, missing a misappropriation of this uh, knowledge cast in secret cast in mysticism cast in gnosis so on the columns was this crisscrossing staircase going up into you know good and evil improving itself which is a uh, some reflection of the truth but it, it, it shows what these crafts would practice themselves as how they uh, secretly um, oppose and attack that which is true by holding to their secret and conspiring against that which is true by by secret and revealing that hidden knowledge to the people of their own elevated up through their craft and this was revealed on the uh, much of the free masonic temples and lodges and the uh, any secret society has this gnosis, this root, this um, uh, dualism, this good and evil uh, twining and this self-elevation through attaining of hidden light in these secret uh, Gnostic uh, belief systems and these, these set up crafts and these all root to um, the model of harlots, the the mother of harlots, which is Rome, which is which is comes which came Jesuitism. From Jesuitism is modelled many of these Darwinistic world belief systems like uh, fascism, communism. They're all modelled on this one model. And then we have all the secret societies, Freemasonry, the Illuminati, the Jesuits, all from the same seed, all from the same root. But it's not all one conspiracy of one organised group of organised 
men. It's it's a amalgamation of these components and the people who plant the seeds to allow these that um, by by the omission of truth these things have been allowed to develop and go wild so you've got all these wild branches of freemasonry illuminati but they're all modeled and most of the proponents of planting the ideas come from the jesuits so the illuminati freemasonry they're all um tears they're all planted by these these powers and it all roots into the pagan mystical belief systems yoga new age mysticism chris chris lamb you know all these hybrid spiritual christianity mediums all the occult all the tea leaves tarot yoga buddhism all, all, all tie into this mother of harlots of this root, this branch, this pagan belief system of the old order. And um, Rome, as um, the Catholic Church, has uh, merchandise from all these craft. All, it, it's not necessarily directly controlling them, but it it profits alongside them. It suits its cause because they. The proponents of the things it supports and if you look today on the world stage what's what's supported and what you're not allowed to speak against is all all from this root islam the european one world order and there's no alternative and you know all the all, all the investments being made in this one world ideal that ties into europe that ties into gnosticism that ties into romanism that's why Islam is supported. That's why we've got uh, the allowance of um, the bias of um, Islam and the word Islamophobia. So you can't speak out against it. So they're guarding that which supports these things. Homosexuality, it supports this root, it supports this culture, it supports this body. And it um, supports gay rights and the liberal and sodomy and paedophilia it supports all the uh occult all the uh, darwinism it holds up it doesn't speak out against these things it, they're all in on the same branch of the same wild tree and that's all rooted in the uh, gentiles that all comes from the the uh the heart and the power base of those predominant bodies of people and forces which is all uh hiding behind the mask of uh, Roman Catholicism that's what our nation is that's what our nation stood against that's what our heritage revealed that we were against Romanism and it was Rome who murdered the true saints and and made martyrs of and and, and gave the title to their own apostate heretics and gave them the title of saints a saint is just simply a sinner that's believed in 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 God, in the one the truth, the Lord Jesus Christ. In the Old Testament, it was those who were to believe in the promise to come, and to, who believed in the word that was from God, from the one God, from the true source, and the kingdom to come, the king to come, the prophet to come, the saviour, Messiah to come. And they were called saints because they were faithful. They believed in the faithfulness of the word of God. That's what a saint is. But the Catholic Church have uh, killed the real saints and made uh, heroes and idols of their own own saints and, and taken the name saint out of context. It's like the uh, mysticism in the bloodlines and the holy grail, you know, the we live by faith you can receive a witness of that you're throwing away the uh the baby and the bath water and you're you're eating dirt if you, you get caught up in the mysticism and the, the truth of the ark of the covenant and it revealed in the word of god the ark of covenants in heaven uh, the holy grail is insignificant because salvation doesn't come through the holy grail so this this uh, mystical um, red herring is being propagated because it it breeds mystery. It's blowing soap. 
It's blowing bubbles to sell soap to the medieval world and it's continued the, the search for the Holy Grail, the bloodline, the mysticism. And you can market that, you can generate, make money on that for years. And that's what Dan Brown revealed, you know, that's what Dan Brown was, just making the money on the back of this mystery. And it throws away the salvation that can be received. So you're, it's like the Lord said of his own people, you know, straining at, uh, straining at gnats. You know, trying to milk a gnat to get to the milk, you know, the, distorting the truth. Uh, dismissing the most important matters like, and and, fo and focusing on trivial and significant matters like the holy cup you know what about the holy lord the living water you know you the whole it's been promoted of this mystery that there's a that the the lord had a bloodline and it's revealed in the cup is the cup the contain all the power does the if you hold the ark of the covenant or the the spear that pierced christ with it make an army invincible it's all it's all the spinning of of that which is true the troy and shroud if you read the um faithful account um you'll know that um and you know history and you know the people who've re um give us a record of the history of the social history of those times and the traditions and the rituals you know that the shroud was um, first. The Lord had, a, I think, had a handkerchief on his face, and then the shroud would have been one big long bit of linen, like Lazarus was buried. He had one big long strip of linen wrapped round him. But this Tro this Troyan shroud with this uh, mystical face is just to make money and spin and uh, take your eye off the real prize, the um, the the, ho the Pearl of Great Price, the living water, the, etern the free gift of eternal life by faith alone in salvation alone and all this mysticism is rooted in this pagan world order which is uh, the, the, the heart and the belly of the beast is um, propagated by the Roman Catholic order, Romanism the, tier, the uh, free tier tiara that they believe that they hold um, power on heaven, on earth and in hell. But only Christ holds that power and authority. And he's given life and offered life and, and paid the price of all sin to, to offer that life, eternal life, freely, without price. Come by me without price was the cry of the prophet. Isaiah, you know, milk come by milk and honey come, the lord said try me by milk and honey without price by the living receive the living water without price like uh, the, like the lord invited the samaritan woman at the well to draw the living water to believe to to receive to be purchased by that holiness by the precious blood of the lord the living water and and then you've got the counterfeit the confusion against that the uh, mysticism, the mystical religions, the Illuminati, the, all from this mother, all from this pagan world order of old, which is uh, revealed through secular history, which is revealed through the word of God and what's right and what's true and what was revealed within the Jews, within the history of the Jewish people and what was revealed in them for their apostasy and wickedness and their unbelief. And, and through that weakness, we've uh, what's what has ultimately be, been revealed is the Lord Jesus Christ, and we have Christianity because of the Jews. We have we have the knowledge and the opportunity to receive that that faithful light through through that route, through that trunk, through that avenue to receive that uh, living water, to receive that life that was uh, paid for us. And if we don't receive that, the world remains in unbelief and guilty of sin. And it'll get caught up in all this confusion because it's predominant, it's dominant, evil's dominant. Because it's been allowed, because the truth has been rejected. So man, mankind has a choice to choose either good or evil. So if it doesn't, if it's not holding on to good, it's completely open to the, and susceptible to the sway and predominance of evil. And that's the world we live in today. 
and uh, that was my observance from this um, recent uh, documentary on that Roswell Chapel where I saw that that spiral up the column that, that uh, opposing staircases um, ascending up the columns and the two columns of uh, taken from the uh, original testament of the uh, old covenant so it's a complete uh, apostasy and twisting of the truth revealed in this one documentary that I could measure by the word of God and the testimony of that which is true and um, all, all these uh, mystical beliefs and how they all root in modern modern day science in psychiatry you've got the imagery the snake and the cross you got got um, medicine you've got the same you got the serpent again you got this um, and it, it shows the same pattern with this crossing spiral staircase up the column and you've got the you've got the broken crosses and the snake around the cross and and then you've got the <clears throat> the true light revealing the true nature the, the nature of the flesh the fallen nature and the holy nature and then you've got the twisting of that trying to merge that into evil trying to own that which is good and conceal it so it's revealing this jeweled nature beast which is manifest in the fruits of the world which are all roots into this order into this um, old pagan order which is uh, wild and it's uh, it's entwined and it's choking everything that is good you know that's the uh, and, and, and the only thing that is truly good is that which has received salvation that which is recognized that it's no good been redeemed and purchased and then it knows good and evil it knows where good come from and it's received and been purchased by that which is good and claimed and it reveals in it the free agency of man that it chooses good and evil but that man remains human nature mankind remains predominantly why predominantly evil, predominantly sinful, because it inherits that fallen nature. And that fallen nature is um, revealed through the anti-nature of the fruits of, of, of that uh, concealing of the truth, of, of, of the fear of that truth getting out. Otherwise it, it will lose its predominance and, and evil will die. Evil won't flourish without the omission of, of what is true. And that's why prophecy will come to pass. That's why only few will be saved. Because they won't believe. And it will remain in denial. It won't know it's lost. And it will stay indifferent. And it will be uh, swept up. Or completely corrupted. Compromised and set. And that clay will be moulded into uh, what it's chosen to be moulded into. And it's chose to not believe, not to receive forgiveness. And it will set, and when it dies, it will be useless, and that vessel will be discarded forever. And, and, and anyone can know that and measure from the fruits and reveal these uh, roots and these um, historic disruption and the continuity of that which is true. And the, and the um, degradation 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 of the uh, morality the purity family right and wrong and how that is um, dwindling and how we are further getting further away and getting more divided and uh, um, we can see prophecy is living it's breathing it's uh, coming to pass um, and, and you can only get a true measure from that true source, that true witness. And that true witness can only ever be received by faith. And that faith can never, only ever be believed if that person repents. And that person can only repent if it starts to believe, it starts heading towards the direction of the truth. 
uh, and the two go hand in hand so faith and repentance you can't have one without the other and you, and you can't you can't um, admit the truth in that equation so you need you need a uh, faith in the truth you can't put your faith in a lie because it won't bring repentance it won't bring a change it won't bring fruit it won't bring that report of that which is you've received as faithful moving on with this personal outreach and this invitation which is an invitation only an invitation to all to uh, examine these things and consider the truth revealed in the word of God to measure that which is and compare that which is against what we see what what is known what is experienced and that's what I'm sharing um, I'm not I'm not asking anybody to follow me um, I am just simply a saved sinner who's come come to faith and received the uh, mercy and grace and the, the promise of the Lord Jesus Christ from the Word of God and uh, I have an assurity of that and I'm not asking anyone to uh, believe me outright this is simply uh, some observations of our current world um, sharing my testimony expressing my um, motive really that I'm just a simple person I am a, uh, come from a middle class not middle class but a working class background um, my dad had some um, education my mum was a bit more deprived or uh, lacking in lacking in the different different avenues of uh, what's available in in their environment but both uh, working class um, hard working people uh, I was just a youngest son a sinner I was um, a bit of a runt very ignorant very rebellious and very traumatized which I wasn't aware of so I'm nothing special and I came simply to faith I trusted and believed and I've always had that um, thank the Lord I was blessed with um, although I was a curse with many faults I was blessed with many many inheritances on both sides of my family that, that uh, were, were good were healthy were sober were right but I also inherited the uh, sinfulness of my uh, parents just like anybody else I'm nothing special I'm not not asking anybody to to believe me to follow me I'm just um, I follow after that which I've received that that which I know is faithful and um, I trust only in that which is faithful in those that have received it and I am grateful for everything in life um, I'm not I don't always express my gratitude I, I express my uh, nature sometimes my fallen nature but I've been granted simply a holy nature um, you, you may ask a, uh, any common Christian in the street that you may pick out if you're not a believer and you ask ask them about um, holiness and their sinfulness and what makes them what have they got that the rest of the world that doesn't have and what can they offer them uh, most Christians will stumble over what the gospel is what justification is what sanctification is uh, this really is an outreach to the, the lost world to um, come and seek come and measure from the word of God to try the word of God to see if it's true to look at the fruits of the world and to look at the root the root causes and and to dismiss what um, religion is in the face of the world in the media in the public spotlight what what but to seek what the truth is 
and the truth is in all avenues of life it's in all all people's lives but what's the source of truth what is the ultimate heart of truth and uh, that that's simply where I'm coming from or somebody who was lacking somebody who knew I was um, I, I'm not right and I and no matter how much I try to be good having experienced that good in my own life and then learning um, upon my conscience by experience what the law of that that good <coughs> that good living entailed and how I fell short of that but how that was in me and how I had the conflicts of that which opposed that within me so I was um, conflicted like most people are um, confused if you don't have the purpose of life you don't know you, you, you can't find your place you don't know where you're going you don't know where you come from and you can follow experts, you can follow opinion, you can follow your own belief, you can follow blindly holding on to part truth and ho holding on to uncertainty with that truth. You're not, you're not certain. And the only way you can become certain is to know and receive that certainty. So that's simply what I'm inviting. I'm nothing special. I'm, I'm just simply a believer. Um, neither Jew nor Gentile, I'm just simply purchased by the holiness of God um, from a sinful nature, from a sinful, sinful fallen inheritance from my father, from my mother, which stems back to the fall, fall of all mankind from the Garden of Eden. And uh, that checks out to be 100% true and reliable. And uh, all truth lines up and agrees with all the truth, like on a ruler. Every millimetre makes up that uh, centimetre. Every eighth of an inch, every sixteenth of an inch, every quarter of an inch it adds up to the scale within an inch. And that inch within a foot, no centimetres within a metre. Uh, those millimetres within a centimetre and truth is true, it's always been true and I simply have come to come to receive that myself and I am offering that and then as a believer I then sought in my heart to know well what's the what's the true true faith of the gospel? What's the one I've received the the author but where is the one true body? Where's the one true heart? One's the, one true faith and where's the one true gospel and it's in the word of God and it's in the hearts of those that believe and once you've received that you can discern that you can measure that and you can see the good from the evil the black from the white the wheat from the chaff and you can gain a faithful measure of that which is that that fruit which is holy that which fruit which is righteous that fruit which thinks it's righteous and has righteousness but it's unfounded and it think, it, it believes it's right and doing God's service but it's actually unfounded, it's ungrafted, it's, un, it's not completely received the truth, it just has part of the truth and it doesn't know that it's in error so it's self-righteous and then you've got open rebellion, open evil and you've got uh, the me the standard light and measure of, of that truth which can be received through faith to measure that which is and that which isn't but until you receive that you can't you don't know for a certainty what what the truth is and in context to the whole and then as a believer you're navigating well how, where's the where's the believer where's the true church where's the what's heresy and what's true and then you 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 grow in trust in that which you've received and you and if you have a testimony of the faithfulness of the word and the source of that word you grow by that standard and that that word within you will straighten you out in all matters of doctrine in discipline in in error it teach it teach that which is error that which is true 
But if you haven't got that, you don't know you're you're lost. You might think you're righteous and you have the truth, but you don't know where that truth is uh, from. And there's a diverse opinions and divisions on where that truth is and who's right. So you need to go to the pure source and that source is holy and that source is revealed in the word and it's a free gift. You can't own the book, word of God, it's a free gift for the public. To be read in the churches, it's preserved lawfully. It's preserved spiritually by God because God's faithful and it's his word. And it can be measured and it can be received. So that's the invitation for this outreach for people who are seeking, um, who perhaps have, the wheels have fallen off their life. They've hit the rocks, they are confused, they are indifferent, they are lost. <coughs> they want a second chance, they uh, know they're no good and they're seeking the remedy. Well, the remedy's in the truth and the truth is the word and the word's the way. And the way is the truth, and that's in the Word of God. And the Word of God's the Lord Jesus Christ, and you need, just need to believe. You need to believe in His His certainty and 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 uh, trust in that which is true, and and seek it out and receive it from God personally. And there's no um, there's no turnstile. There's no pay as you go. It's between you and your creator, it's between the truth and that which is lost to, to know and come to know. And that's why Jesus Christ died, to draw all men unto himself. That's why God the Father offered his Son. That's why the Son willingly offered himself. That he may draw all unto himself, that they, every, every man, woman and child may be redeemed and saved. Because, because of unbelief, because of rejection of the way, that which is not the way takes predominance and the world has become become wild and wicked. So as I conclude this um, this rant or this uh, outreach, this heartfelt um, outreach in faith of uh, just my testimony to touch somebody's life by by what I've received, by the word and grace of God, and that's all I can do. I'm just a reject on in life. I was a no hope in life. I was uh, stunted from the beginning. I was uh, arrested. I was uh, struggling. I was put under. So the time I got on my feet, you know, the t time had passed. Life had moved on, and the same evil was predominantly growing and leaving generations buried in the in the ground behind it and as the people who follow after falseness and vanity and chase after the carrot predominates and the uh, the uh, new generations growing up in its wake trying to you know trying to follow after that which is um, leading the race which is a rat race which is chasing shadows and um, you're either chasing your own shadow, you're chasing someone else's shadow, or you're chasing the world's shadow. And you are you either feel left out and, you're, and, you, and you don't know what to follow after, so you go your own way, or you follow after the crowd and you're fleeced. You're, you're the goat that um, you know, follows the oats and get, get, gets, um, gets fleeced. And you become um, merchandise, you just become part of the world, part of the structure, part of the traffic. So if you're looking for escape, you're looking for hope, you're looking for forgiveness, you're looking for the truth. Um, don't look to me, I'm, 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 I'm just a receiver of that truth and uh, sharing that and invite and offering that invitation for people to seek that out. And giving a witness of my experience, measuring that which I've received against the uh, the uh, world today, today as we're living, and considering the two roots, the root of truth and the root of error, and the purpose of life, and the uh, hope, the only eternal hope, and where that hope come from, and how to uh, 
navigate this world, navigate life, um, raise children in this life, uh, if you have children, or if you're young, how to avoid all the pitfalls and the uh, trickery, the PR, the uh, games, the machinations, the devices, the pitfalls. You know, you might you might not have par wise parents. You might you might be deprived. You might not have an education. You might be put down. You might not be very confident. So I'm just reaching out to anybody seeking hope, seeking strength. Um, nobody's beyond um, achieving a a life and a better potential, um, whatever the lot in life is, whatever the circumstances. It's just if you go after the, the wrong prize, if your your moral standards in error, you're going to go off track. So if you're looking for um, edification, you're looking for truth, you're looking for simplicity of understanding that truth yourself without, without an expert and um, a lawyer and without um, somebody explaining it to you where you can come to understand the root of what is what to focus to get a sharp focus on life to navigate your life and circumstances in this term tumultuous world in this wicked world in this failing world in this lying world um, I just invite you to seek the, the living God and the, and the truth. And I'm going to move on to um, just some contradictions and the, the fruits of that uh, evil nature, that root, which is in every man, woman and child, and which can pre predominate given the opportunity if it's chosen to. Um, certain people will have... Um, instilled into their life from their environment from their inheritance and their upbringing they have enough in them to keep them from straying into these areas but everyone is capable of compromising of throwing all that they've learned out the window in a heartbeat being compromised themselves being worn down and being changed and change can happen over time change can uh, lap people can lapse People can become downhearted, worn down. Standards can slip. Compr more compromises are made. So everybody's prone to error. Everybody's prone to swing. Everybody's compromised. Everybody's faulty. It's only Christ who is um, holy. And only that holiness can be imputed within um, a sinner who has faith in that which is certain and receives that and is born again of that spiritual nature so they can um, have victory over their physical wicked wild nature that is prone to go astray and uh, is contrary to the goodness that they know that they should choose everybody has a conscience and everybody knows right and wrong and that can be manipulated conscious can be manipulated because you can say that um, something that is true is wrong and make somebody feel guilty but that's deceptive and that can be undone by by the word of God by the truth by by learning that which is deceptive by the tr by receiving that which is um, honest and, and and true and faithful um, I've noticed in the uh, many things recently in the media and these are the impressions I've received that I want to I just want to highlight some the roots of this evil seed this uh, all the things I've spoken about the Gnostic the, the, the Darwinism the all those worldly philosophies, all those branches, all these spiritualism, the new ageism, uh, which is ripe, which is uh, entwined to almost um, encroaching upon every aspect. And uh, I just want to highlight the um, hypocrisy and how the media is, uh, how it's used, how it's uh, got a life of its own, if you like. I want to raise some points I've picked
picked up through experience and also observed recently. Um, now, uh, this reveals where the truth comes out in popular popular opinion and there's a leak and it starts to grow in people's conscience and all the eyes and the ears that are looking out of what's going on wake up to realise that something's um, starting to be understood, something's got taken root in people's minds and becoming aware of and then overnight the media wind changes and the story is released to um, take dominance of that leak. So I'm going to give some examples. Um, now the knowledge of the autoimmune system, the human immune system, uh, breast implants, uh, statins which is a, a cholesterol drug. Um, immunity inoculations, hormone replacement therapy, um, sugar, cancer, and how the media is two-faced and how the powers that be have the knowledge of both, but how it's slanted depending who's in power. So when you've got a conscientious predominance, you get the truth released about science, about policy, about law, about health. But then when you get the opposite, which has been predominant for a very long time in, in, in the world and in our nation, you get misinformation. And regarding our statins and recently sugar, and to do with uh, autoimmune deficiency and cancers and uh, the inoculations and the damaging of the immune system and this all filters into uh, the hypocrisy of the knowledge that is known and concealed and how misinformation and lies are sold and predominant in schools and colleges to make merchandise of people by their ignorance believing in full science and these things can be examined if you examine and research you will find evidence of both and the media will hold the spotlight and, and pay attention on both areas so it will profit from the showing highlighting the argument that it's presenting so the media light is just shining on the argument it's always known it's, it's um it, it can be manipulated, it can be wild, or it, or it can be used for good, or it can be biased and used for evil, it can be wild or calculated. So recently some stories that come up was um, the knowledge of uh, sugar feeds cancer. Well this knowledge was revealed and known about in the 40s, and all credit to those who, who researched and were revealing it. But they've known that um, scientists have known military um, high intelligence, high clearance intelligence bodies have experimented on uh, propagating prop uh, components that uh, harvest cancer, that cultivate cancer quickly, and uh, to turn it into a virus. There's all the evidence that can be researched and measured to establish whether it's true. And the research found that sugar feeds cancer, and it's been known about. And um, also, all the um, preservatives in food, all the all the hormones that are added to uh, artificial fertilizers, and all this stuff um, in in the human body, all, all cosmetics, all food preservatives. They all know the long-term effects of these are upon the immune system and the immune system they've always known is the cure for cancer. So as this knowledge becomes general knowledge, they change tracks overnight on the mainstream media. So one day they're teaching that they don't know anything about cancer and, and research finds that they've always known. But the mainstream media portrays the opposite until the story leaks and then they overnight they're portraying that and now they know this and now that that's what they teach so that um, these are recent news stories i've uh, caught 
um, like the breast implants, oh, they didn't know, and then it then it turned out that they did know, and then they know that silica causes cancer if it leaks into the bloodstream. They've always known that, and they knew it at the start. So there's another lie. Statins, that they released this drug to make money, put all these women on statins. It's like hormone replacement therapy. It's like all those false diagnoses of... Um, cancers you know breast cancer then it was all the blood transfusions they've always always known this and then they can on the other hand they say oh that that should never happen that never happen again and it's a slap in the face it's a contradiction and then you discover that they did know and with statins that they um on the back for years they were teaching that these statins lower cholesterol and then it took a long time for the truth to break by by um, medical doctors and releasing papers and getting doctorates on their on the release of their evidence showing that uh, statins don't do anything towards um, reducing cholesterol. It's to do with the immune system. It's to do with your eating. It's to do with eating food that your body can uh, digest rather than these artificial fats and all these uh, trans fats, these uh, low fats, these these things that have got a shelf life, anything that the, the body can uh, metabolize is uh, has a shelf life, like butter. If you buy cold pressed oils, they've only got a short shelf life because they're healthy. Whereas these things that are um, processed are made to, pre to, to be preserved, like bread, like artificial bread, it, pre it doesn't go off these days it's got all the preservatives in you digest them and you can't take them a long time for your body to deal with them so you get overstocked with all these things that are attacking your immune system and they've known it about the heart about cancer they know that the immune system the knowledge the general knowledge has been always known but the the truth doesn't get into the public domain because they're kept in ignorance and fed uh, mushrooms are kept in the dark and fed manure, they're, they're fed, they're not fed the right nutrients. You know, we live on the bread of life, we live on truth, not not lies and um, speculation and false science. We should be, f be fed what is true and what's true feeds us and we know we've been fed. But if you've been starved, you don't know any difference, You're, you believe the... Uh, the wash and that you're, you're perhaps if you're cultivated to be or you're on the low scale of the human race you, you're deprived you're not gonna you're not gonna have a good start in life you're not gonna have a, an inheritance of of knowledge of uh, upbringing of um of experience so you're uh, starting way back and you're taken advantage of and and then what hope have you got and um, these lies are predominant, so they've they've known the immune system, uh, immunity system helps deal with cancer, helps deal with all health benefits, and it's all in the word of God, you know, uh, to be to live in moderation, to you know, to reduce your intake of unhealthy foods, and to look at the examples and change your change your ways, change your look after your temple, look after your body and then uh, you'll be looked after you won't You won't fall into these um, fads or these uh, diet fads and these uh, all this new knowledge comes out on cancer or on the environment or whatever because you, you have a standard of truth to measure well what's, what's really true, what's really happening and what is not, what's um, so you're not deceived, you can uh, find your own way. <clears throat> uh, so that feeds the, pharma, the pharmaceutical market and all these things are rooted in the same branch and that same branch of, uh, I've already covered in the, the, the Gnostic, the spiritualism. Another, another um, program uh, thing I saw today was uh, cannabis, the... Uh, speaking of um, legalizing cannabis and the trial runs and 
and I considered all the arguments and I knew exactly where it was leading and, and the motive and the drive behind it and I, I also knew that all the paraphernalia associated to cannabis and the pharmaceutical mar market are all Gnostic, they all root into this mysticism which roots into yo yo yoga root, uh, roots into new ageism it roots into pagan mystery schools and if if you're honest and if you examine all the old paraphernalia about cannabis you look at the names of all this and then to sell it to sell it in the medical sense now now i know that there are med medical properties but they are very slim and they're very um for a very minority and those people are, are chronically ill but the people who are controlling the marketing of it are not the right people to be distributing it and eventually you can see behind it is the the same spiritual wind the spiritualism and gnosticism all the all, all the uh, dualism and the advertising and the, the marketing of this product but it will come in the guise of the medical properties because I've seen the wind, I've seen the change of direction just like I see in the media with this cancer and breast implants how overnight they can change that the government can suddenly change sides they can change seats on which what the truth is now so they can lie, 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 lie. Oh, now we, now we know. Now what they're saying is now the truth is out. Now you know. Now we got to, now we got to show that you. We got to show that we're on your side and not concealing a lie that we knew about already. And and that that goes to politicians because they're kept in ignorance as well. You know we. We've got this Brexit to do. We've got a new, a new prime a prime minister. You've got all the media circus around him. You've got all the compromise of previous politicians. And then you've got a new one taking up the seat. And you can only pray that out of the mix comes some good, comes some truth, comes some justice, comes some, uh, some good sober moral judgments for all concerned in this um, reality that we, we share and are experiencing. And you can only hope that uh, things don't get worse uh, that, and that uh, justice will be done and, and the true uh, antagonisers of the the lies that are going on are caught out and, and beaten. But you just don't know what people's uh, motives are and you don't know what's going to come out of the mix of politics and, and the media hype. So you can only... Um, you know, wait, and if you ha you haven't got this certainty of salvation and the purpose to life, it, you are you are blown around by the doctrine and the winds of, of politics. And uh, I mean, I get sick of uh, watching the telly, watching the news, watching the internet, and uh, a bit of silence is nice sometimes, but then. Then I have to listen to um, noise in in the environment. Then I have to listen to tones being played into my house, and and then all the other distractions from the world. It's hard to you know to get a bit of peace and quiet these days. And then you turn on the telly. It's just the same. It seems to be the same story, and you get uh, you can get uh, sick of it and. Um, and you wonder, is that you know, was that intentional? And then you see all the, all the spin in the environment, and all the you know, it's one story after another. The, you know, climate change, cannabis, um, Brexit, uh, and and Hong. Look at, I want to look at the roots of um, Hong Kong, and you got this, um, the government supporting, the. Um, triads the underground world the underworld and i've discussed the i briefly mentioned the underworld so and how the the two powers what one can not necessarily control it but allow it like a british military intelligence they have information on paedophile rings you have this 
you had this guy who testified against the high level paedophile and then it turned out in one story that he was a paedophile himself his whole testimony was ridiculed and he was a criminal and, you sh and it was all on the back of one photograph and what they held behind the back was all the other all the other victims of that crime were matching his testimony he may he may have he may not have as far as you're concerned the well the ignorant are concerned he may have he may not have been telling the truth but that doesn't dismiss all the other testimonies that share the same thing that agree that haven't collaborated and it's with one media wash with one brush stroke of the media this um this person was a paedophile now military uh, intelligence and one of the um ways of shutting somebody up is downloading pornography onto their um onto their hard drive you know the security services have the powers and access to anyone's computer if they want to set you up or anyone up you look at gun, gun crime in America and how uh, you get one random shooting and then all the media focus be can be on bang guns you know it doesn't if you bang guns Right, you're not going to ban the guns from the criminals who are going to use those guns. If you ban drugs, you're not going to ban drugs. If you legalise drugs, you're not going to ban the, le the criminal sale of drugs. You ban guns, you're, you're going to stop the people who use those guns to protect themselves. And you're going to ban them from them, the majority, and the minority, the criminals, are going to break the law anyway and they're going to get a gun. And people are going to be undefended. So once you've grown up in a culture, you're set in that culture. And then to ban it is uh, is difficult. So whether, whether it's uh, morally right or wrong, it, it's a fact. And uh, in this country, um, you know, it's the media is portrayed that, uh, you know, Islam is supported. You're not allowed to speak out against Islam. You're not allowed to speak out against homosexuality. In America, you got the same thing going on. Around the world, you got the same thing going on. You got the same evil um, saying what is right is wrong, and what's wrong is right. And it's selling it to children. It's cutting out the family and then raising the youth. I mean, trying to make a uh, teaching uh, transgender compulsory, introduce environmental tax. Then there's cries of um, inheritance tax. So if you become ill, you got to sell your house and pay for the care. And, oh, you should have made provisions. Well, these, are, uh, mor these may be in a perfect world, mor morally applicable, but when you've been deprived and then it's all turned on its head and now you're responsible for your own depravity, for your own um, your own handicap or being handicapped by uh, iniquity and justice and now, you, now you're responsible for yourself, for your pension. You know, you're paying, so the voice is saying paying for your pension all your life and then you get to the end of your life and it says, well, you know the pension's gone. You, you, it's all it's all on your all on your plate now. So you get a double standard. You get a, a changing of the opinion and lies permanently washing over through the media, uh, covering up the truth, protecting that which is untrue to discredit the truth and to dominate that which is uh, towards. Uh, unification of this one world pagan order where it's where it protects itself and promotes through hollywood through the media through power through influence through through all, all the avenues it it can utilize through politics through human nature which feeds itself and steers this um there's this motive, this drive towards a, you know, we're all we're all better if we're a one world. That's caused all these problems. Let's create chaos to come up with the orderly solution that we 
itching to get up, get off the ground that we're pushing for that we're trying to cultivate that that within the, the society by fear by saying oh you can't stand alone and be united you have to be united one world order and then that will be corrupted and uh, that involves religion that involves all the winds of our current world politics philosophy medicine all things are steering with that uh, root um, idolatry fornication adultery the pride of life the lust of the flesh the desires of the of the of the self and cultivating that self in in the world to justify itself on the stage on the global stage and it use religion and spend it so if you're um, yoked to a religious apostate system um, you need to escape um, if you look at the last days the false prophet and the antichrist and if you if you consider where that seat is where that power base is what's going to happen to those believers that are aren't aware of the evil within it and how that evil's encroached within it and dominated it and utilizes it for its own ends and then and then it's going to draw back away from it and all the people that have been deceived by it are going to be spent because it's going to be got rid of the Catholic Church and organised religion is going to be it's just a means to an end to the evil, to the world to the, this uh, pagan, corporate uh, Romanish dualistic, Gnostic uh, belief system all wrapped into commerce and all feeding off the, uh, the ignorance of the world and the unbelief of the world which is predominant through all the forces and the avenues and its associates and all that's cultivated from it all that's um, off, 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 of the, off the branches, off the fruit from this tree which is um, you can see all in the fruits of today's life in Hollywood, in media, in advertising in the news, in politics in all avenues of life were any any anywhere to choke that which is true that which is right that which is established that which remains all trying to choke it and deceive and own it to own own um, the human race to dominate it and lead it into this chaos and then to come up with a solution you know whether that's um a predominant conspiracy or it's just a, an ambiguous design in many hearts to seek that that mystical outcome you know it's along those avenues and branches of that belief tree of that root of that seed but it's anti-christ it's anti-right and it affects both jew and gentile nation it affects all the human race and the only way to measure that which is true from that which is in error is by the word of God and I've seen these things uh, manifest time and time again in uh, the winds of politics in the, the misappropriation of the media and um, the bias towards Islam, Islam and uh, transgender and looking where that's coming from another thing I caught was girl gangs and uh, if you're a young person and getting caught up by the winds and uh, popularity and the social engineering of uh, making something cool or hip and, uh, and with the other hand um, ruining, ruining your future and then offering you this fake or plastic counterfeit alternative called uh, hip hop or gang culture and that you associate to that. All these things are done by craft and design and they're repeated through history. You know, fashion goes round in circles. If you go back to the 80s and you got the, um, you, you think in, uh, in America you got uh, Compton and you've got all that area and you've got all that, all the gang culture and, and you've got all the mafia. 
you've got all the underworld, you've got all the corrupt powers in the overworld, you see the whole pattern play out, the cultivating of Hollywood where you plant the seed, it becomes popular, then you put the media spotlight on it, then it goes global and it popularises it, creates division, and then it has an impression on the youth and they aspire to it, and then you get those who are who teach for what it is, you get this uh, split down youth, some people are sucked into it, others are wise to it. So you're seeing the same rollout of colours, the division, the planting of that seed within uh, poor, deprived, uh, cultivated societies. And they've been cultivated to, to fail, just like the riots, just like the London riots, where the police step back, just like in China, where conveniently the local authorities wink at, at the underworld going wild. Just like in recently in the uh, Tommy Robinson rally where the police sponsored a rebellious Islamic group and allowed them to march on a peaceful rally that was announced to be peaceful and the police secretly allow and turn a blind eye and, and allow this Islam, this uh, rebellious right wing Islam to be cultivated. Just like in Hong Kong where they allow the underworld. And they wink at it, just like in England where they allow the drugs free. You know, and one arm winks at it. And the real powers, the real people in office have no control over that general body of behaviour that's in, endemic. And that's what that's where politicians are spineless because they're, they're too frightened to compromise. So they have to go with a popular wind. And wherever the, the popularity is, that's where... Because they've got think tanks, they've got eyes and ears... They know where to pitch their policies. And you can see it time and time again, the change position. Oh, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cast over here to get the vote. I'm going to cast over there to get the vote. And you're, you're washed like stonewashed in pebbles by lies, by this rhetoric, by this compromise. And uh, you're kept from the truth. You're kept from the word of God. You're kept from the word of God is suppressed. The gospel suppressed and, and what's held up in its stead by the popularity is songs of praise and organised religion, the compromised ecumenical one world, let's all hold hands with evil, let's let's evil unite with good. You know, it's about time we had peace. Well, peace has always been there. It's because the world's rejected peace, we have chaos. And that evil behind that chaos wants to order it, so it wants to ferment Islam. Because it divides and it's uh, exploitable. It's a false flag. It's all, all manifest in these uh, high intelli military intelligence that have got no way of being policed. And they're done, that, that things are done on a high level security clearance that no one can have access to. So who's got the high level security clearance to police these things and uh, expose what, what's been done in the name of security? Well, only those who've got high-level access security. So anyone who gets to see it uh, will co have to compromise and keep their mouth shut because it, cause it will l let the rat out of the bag. What's, what's really happening? So politicians are kept ignorant just like the public by the established powers behind the scenes. And the Word of God will help you see the root of that and how that root is manifest and you can take a you can take a shot and know where to look to gather the evidence of the 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 hands of who's behind this throughout history. You you turn on the history channel, you you see all British history, Spanish, you know the Spanish Armada is all all sponsored by the Pope. World War Two all sponsored by the Pope. You know all roots in Rome, all since Christ's time the. Constantine, the power, the Roman powers hijacked Christianity, and then in, then in England we had the Protestant breakaway, and then then and then uh, the power um, like the Battle of the Bulge, it, uh, there was a counter attack, but unlike the Battle of the Bulge, the uh, counter attack succeeded, and Catholic powers remained dominant, and people and it's rewritten history it's buried and written over our heritage written over the truth and it's predominant today predominant through the media 
it holds back the knowledge and it spins it out to sell you soap to blow bubbles to sell soap and lead you into where it wants to steer people where it wants to have control over people and the only thing that can set you free is the truth and the word of God and all this girl gangs all this gang culture is uh, promoted and it would be sponsored like Islam it would be allowed to happen it would be allowed to fester and people go well, how come we got all this knife crime it's because they're turning a blind eye they understand how to prevent this but but how is it that it's allowed to flourish and, and the government don't do nothing about it? And the the, gov the police are powerless because they've got no money because we've been unindated with a load of political engineering and uh, migration over the last 20 years to overburden us, to divide us so we can be conquered and brought into bondage, brought into slavery even deeper by this... Uh, this evil force that hasn't changed its spots just by lip service oh we're not like that anymore oh we don't do that anymore but that's what they are and that's what they do and that's what, what they're doing and you won't see that unless you um, receive the faithful word of God and then you'll see that which is against God and that's mankind because they've rejected the truth rejected the Lord they've rejected the word of God and anyone who's rejected that is lost and uh, and uh, we'll, we'll end up fulfilling pro prophecy whether you know whether people think that they can use prophecy to deceive people and um, imitate it all, all the actions of the world will lead to the prophecy of that which is because the truth and the eternal God called it as it would be because he, he created all things and knew how, how all things would unfold and coming in the, in the meridian of time coming into the human race being holy and omnipotent and all wise and all knowing by his life and his death and his burial his resurrection and his, his holiness and uh, gaining the victory over all sin all that is against holiness exposing all that which is uh, in error and what would happen to that error without that holiness and truth and by that truth it's revealed prophecy by that light we have the prophecy of what is and what will be to that which is not of God which is outside the knowledge of God which is lost in denial and that's my diagnosis of the uh, human race it's uh, in denial it's traumatized when when um, the human race fell it's, uh, you know it bruised bruised uh, when you're born you're you're shocked you know you're born into the reality of a fallen sinful world and a child can absorb that it's exposed it may not be able to consciously comprehend it but it has a sense of its environment by what it experiences by not being and then suddenly being it has that ability to know what its potential is and, and that what and that which nourishes its potential so it has a potential and if that potential is not met and nourished it knows what it's lacked simply by the having a inherited knowledge of its own potential and then we've got a spiritual conscience we have a delight upon our conscience the spiritual light upon our conscience to know to guide our lives towards good and evil so we have a choice so all ch children are have an impression but inherent inherently sinful that can choose uh, good and evil and um, have a choice whether to receive the truth of that source or reject the, the uh, truth of that source and remain inherently good uh, inherently evil with the choice to, to, to either do good or evil to have some good in them but to be inherently evil with that good so until you're born again you won't know the difference you won't realize the difference and the world is uh traumatized so uh, like a 
a puppy in a pet shop taken away from wean, wean too early, it, it, it lacks and that it misses out, so it's arrested, so that traumatises it. A child's born out of the knowledge of God, it's born to fallen parents in that strange environment. It experiences some sort of trauma and then it experiences the world and then, then the lies. And then lying to an innocent, impressionable child is traumatising. So we're bombarded with these, uh, like the moon, by these projectiles and like the Hadron Collider by lies, by fiery darts. And these things traumatise, and some people are privileged, some people are less fortunate, some people are handicapped, some people are more rounded and gifted. And uh, it's a traumatising experience, because we're a fallen world and we're born into a sinful, wicked um, environment. And, it, and for a child, and a child today especially, it's uh, quite daunting. And we've got this continual wicked behaviour of a, a government that should know better, compromising with our lives, playing these games in the open, thinking that, you know, in denial of it's causing any problem and that it's all a joke. I mean, um, and you've got to grow up amongst that and then they're putting on you climate change, climate tax, inheritance tax, putting all these burdens you know, and all these false promises that, that are spun out and, and, and the outcome is always something different that they said it would be because man's unreliable um, and each of us are capable of measuring the reliability in any, any individual and the unreliability in any individual in ourselves or anyone else and that's what the truth reveals and um, you can see the tossing and the rebellion in, in adults in uh, noble people and you see this false face this hypocrisy hypocrisy and this keeping up appearance and that all's well and uh, then you get the games to play the politics to play to play the play in the spotlight of the media and then it creates this general behavior and it's learned behavior and politicians compromise and follow the wind and then any soberness is buried amongst it. Any any goodness is lost, and then that gives a gives a law a bad name. Gives all the all the good decisions done on, in Parliament a bad name. And everyone is guilty in in some degree of of the behaviour, whether it's tolerating it or whether it's or whether it's taking part in it. But uh, no no one person can do anything about it. No collective group can do anything about it. It takes an individual change, and that change can only come from a holy person, from God, from a holy source. And the Lord said, you must be born again. So you can't change the world. You can't really remedy the long-winded transgressions of the human race. We can't break down and build up again, because it's too, too unjust. It's too many injustices done, so we're we're lumped with this uh, compromise and we're reliant upon the mercy and grace and sovereignty of God. And if you haven't got that, you're going to be lost and follow the world and go into chaos. You're going to go, you're going to be swept up in, in the winds of politics and it, it's endless. It's, it's always munching on. It's always chewing, chewing forward towards that its own way. And evil will get its own way because it lies, it cheats. And it, uh, all power um, corrupts. So it doesn't matter what intentions the world has in making the world a better place. The evil's always there to make it uh, to make it what it thinks a better place is. The consequence of good, of uh, killing in its own name, justifying its own righteousness. And you've got uh, the reality of what, what pe the depravity people worship. They worship false gods, false idols. They worship the devil, openly worship the devil. And then you get people in, in ignorance in the world, in the general world, who don't see that, they don't believe that, they don't comprehend that, because the human race is disassociated, it's traumatised, it's indifferent. And the predominant 
predominance of that cultivated indifference is endemic and that's through sin that's through following the easy way for, for uh, following after our our sins of our parents whatever that is whether that, whatever pleasure that is whatever lifestyle that is whether that's pride whether that's a refinery whether that's edu you know educating oneself to be better I'm not saying there's anything wrong with educating yourself it, it's how that affects you it's what your motive is so there's so many diverse sins and there's so many diverse lusts and, and today it's cultivating idolatry fornication perversion um, adultery you know we're Hollywood is just propagating adultery, promiscuity, war, violence. You know, it sows the seeds and then it cultivates from the fruit. And that fruit is taken root in the general body and it's, it's sold to and merchandised to the future generations. And the, and the conservative uh, Protestant voice is compromised. And it's shut down, and the truth is shut down, and the conscientious objectors are shut down. They're in the minority, and those in the minority are the minority with the truth, with the hope, with the gospel. Are persecuted, and what is against that minority is highlighted, is it uh, magnified? Islam, homosexuality, promiscuity. All in the face of, oh, it's not, it's wrong on one side of the face, but it's okay on the other side of the face. Is it, isn't it, should we have a debate, it's subjective, who knows? It's because of the cultivated indifference and no one can stand up and get out the, the head, out the way of the headlights and the oncoming car that's going to run them over. And, and these have been my recent observations of fruit of these uh, contradictions in cancer, cannabis, the immune system, health, um, and in politics, and in concealing the the true history of our nation, and all the root behind it, all the Gnostic, pagan, old world order, and what that ties into Rome, Freemasonry, the Illuminati. It's not all one organised, um, sensible, intelligent body. It's an ambiguous. Um, design of all these components and the main aggravant, the main harlot is that body behind the Roman Catholic Church, those powers, those influences and those people who like to take up, on the, take up the seats and rule over people and they lose track of reality and what it's like and they become blinkered and blinded in their own pride and they kill for their own belief, establishing their own order and once they've invested they, it, and you're so far into the lie, you've got to carry on, you're committed. And uh, politicians lie, they compromise, they're in ignorance, they don't know, or they know and they, they don't want to rock the boat, so they're, they're going to lose their position. And, the, and that chokes the law, that chokes justice, that chokes righteousness, because iniquity set up. And then what hope is there for the world? That all, that it, if if we haven't sorted it out now, when will when will the world sort it out? And if we do get out of Brexit, are we going to be allowed to continue and flourish? Because we've tried to be independent. You look at all the independent cottage industries; they're attacked by the fear of the predominant media. Any grassroots um, thing that's healthy and is going to do the world any good, you get the commercial imitation come up to predominantly dominate it and make make all the money like Roman Catholic Church martyring the, the true saints making martyrs their own saints and selling relics selling mysteries selling stories writing writing books getting into politics the whole the whole body of this power and the whole um, aura aura of it and the and the honour of it and the worship of it and the compromise by every nation, every power and the only nation that has really stood up for it and it's not the nation, it's the people that have come from that nation and that's been the believer, the believers in Christ 
and, and all the good things and all the balanced sober judgments that come from that root that um that word of god and that come from king james that come from oliver cromwell and all the likes all the people that serve faithfully their testimony throughout the ages today in the past and i'm not you know i'm nothing special i'm nothing like the greats i'm nothing like daniel i'm nothing like joseph i'm nothing like any any of the saints in the new testament i'm just a saint i'm just a safe sinner placed it with them by that holy author of holiness of truth and that has been that's part of our heritage that's part of the uh, israel's heritage as part of the we are sharing in Israel's goodies, in Israel's heritage, which they've they've rejected, and uh, we, the rest of the world, has a an opportunity to receive that um, eternal kingdom in their hearts, and that eternal kingdom is promised to Israel to come, and uh, anyone can be invited into that, and that will be a reality in Jerusalem, and that will be a reality in Israel. And the whole world hates Israel. The whole Antichrist, the whole of this route is against Christianity and it's against the Jews. And even the Jews, because of their in unbelief, they're against Christianity. And they're, they're encroached as Christianity is by the same power. And um, that's the tragedy. And that's, the, that's what uh, the Jews will be realise. And I believe they'll realise that when it's gone. And then what will predominate was will be that all all that was against the church will now be against the seed of Israel. And then that that time of prophecy will happen, and they they will return to their uh, the way of their fathers, to the way of their prophets, to the promise of God, the faithful testimony of jesus christ and his outreach his his mercy his salvation and they will re be restored to that rate to that um to that tree to that trunk as anyone can be restored today anyone can be grafted in to be adopted to be put put into that living vine into that um to receive eternal life and measure these things to measure that which is and that which isn't in the, in the media and to um, filter out all the conspiracy theories what's conspiracy fact what is a conspiracy well conspiracy is the concealment of the truth conspiracy conspiracies have many manifestations you know and and where does uh, what's what's the root of iniquity what is the what is the uh, nature of man? You know, it's um, inherently good and evil. It's got good bits in it, it's got evil bits in it, but it's got a choice and it will choose whatever it holds to. And that's all dependent on its environment. And an environment is in a result of the inheritance of, of the human race that creates that environment it lives in. So we've got a fallen environment, we've got a fallen mankind growing in that fall, growing in that um, error, growing away from the truth. And then we have the truth revealing that and, and offering a restoration from that, to be redeemed from that, to be restored by that which is whole, that which has always been. So that which is created faulty with a, with agency that was innocent and then fell fell because it had a fallen nature can be restored or made whole by that which it will, will restore it to uh, perfection to grant it that holiness and uh, if you liken. Um, your life to being in a transit van going down a motorway and you're in the back and, and there's no seating and the uh, driver just stays true to the one lane but in the back you're swirling around as if the driver's going all over the road but in fact he's not he's going in a straight line 
that you're giddy and you're wobbling around in your flesh. But in that transit van, in that journey within you, in your life, you're going straight and true, but your your flesh is a bit giddy, you're wavering. So that faithful driver, that faithful captain will grant you that free journey, that true journey and place that in your life. That you will still have that fallen nature that you were born with and you will live by faith. And you receive that by faith and you'll live by faith. Because the Lord said, blessed be that those who, who believe and haven't seen me, you know, people saw the Lord and didn't believe. And there's people that, that were saw, that saw the Lord and, and had to be helped on to believe. And we don't have, ev we don't have um, a visual evidence and proof, as it were. The proof is in the pudding, of eating the pudding, of testing that which is faithful. And the only way to receive the truth is by faith. And the truth is, is it's true, it's faithful. And the only way to receive that which is true and faithful is by believing and, and repenting and trusting in that which is true. And then, 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 then that person is equipped with hope, surety, to measure all things in life and to see the biasness, to see the lies being played out. Um, I heard a testimony, I don't know if this is true, um, I can't remember the, the lady, it's... Uh, on YouTube and I feel, I'm not sure if she's a journalist but her name ringed a bell but I, I couldn't associate as um, where I'd heard her name or what she's um, what she does or who she is but she was an accounting a testimony given of an area in Scotland in Glasgow of a independent Sharia law, police federation within a community of Islamic believers who have been authorised to live Sharia law within our own law, within our own civil law under this um, umbrella and protection and segregation of the Sharia law and this um, what she was recounting, so um, I've not verified this story, but you hear it in other parts of like Bradford and parts of uh, parts of the Midlands where you get these uh, communities where it's a no-go area, and you've got this predominant Islamic body, this is Islamic community living out there, Sharia law, community police, community courts. I, I don't know the extreme. I really am looking darkly. And just refer, uh, recounting something I've heard, one story, one or two stories. It's not something I've been up close and um, walked around. So I really have no authority on the matter. But hearing this story of this um, Islamic woman in this community screaming. And uh, this person in the workshop heard the screaming and saw this woman engulfed in flames. She'd been covered in petrol and set alight by by the elders of the the local Islamic authorities, the the Imams or whoever they are. Whatever body takes power is, is going to be the law, isn't it, in, in a community. Any, anyone who takes the seat, anyone who, you know, um, is organised, is raised up by the organisation, is going to take president, is going to take dominant. It's not going to be the most caring is going to take the oversight. It's going to be the most powerful, the biggest dog. You know, that's the nature of uh, these um, systems and religions. It's not like, it's not, it's not, not a spirit, a true spirit of um, religion. It's a counter religion. It's a man made order of establishing a way of um, organizing a community by the uh, principles robbed, uh, stolen from the Old Testament, from Deuteronomy, from the Jews, and uh, inclusive with a, a few pagan beliefs and uh, a few uh, doctrines of devils and mystical beliefs, it's come up with this faith system, with this order of priesthood, this order, this man-made order, 
which is counter to the the nature of, of love and the, the application of that love in any community, in any life, in any circumstances. It's untrue. It just has an appearance of uh, holiness by its uh, humility and values, but in context it's in error. And this woman was set alight for gossiping in the community, you know, so she was laced, covered in petrol and the, the, uh, it, there was a, a mention of a, a police report, an investigation into the police report, but the, the police federation that were exercising Sharia law within that community didn't report the crime within their jurisdiction to the main civil national jurisdiction. So it's kept under wraps by this federation of um, support of this police police force within a within the police force, and this is this this ties into that dualistic, gnostic, pagan, secret society, religious order, this harlot, this model. It's in Islam. So our government are compromising, they're not speaking out against it, so they're openly supporting it, whether that's fear, whether that's compromised, or whether they got their arms so twisted behind their back, they're frightened for their lives, that they're going to lie and say whatever they like. But the fact is, these things are happening. Knife crimes are happening. Street gangs, girl gangs are happening. Um, so, is it getting better? Are we going to come up with... Uh, is there a part, political party that's going to come up with a remedy? I don't think so. The remedy's sure, and it can be received by any individual, no matter what the turbulent future holds. I don't want to be a, a doom and gloom merchant. I want to offer hope and joy and peace, and uh, through whatever awful circum circumstances anyone may be suffering, any... any uh, Disheart, you know, broken heartedness, any discouragement, any 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 life choked out of you. Whether you're one of those rag dolly Annas in life, a reject, and thinking that you believing you've got no hope, you've got no chance, you're no good. Well, the truth is, no one's any good, and there's hope for everyone. And and any, I'm just offering what I've received. The greatest blessing you can ever receive, but you've got you've got to seek that out and receive it. And once you receive that, you can um, know know where the world is, and know where where the root comes from, from the source, what what's true. And if you get deceived or you get um, make a mistake, you can be corrected by that which you've received by persevering and reevaluating and rechecking yourself and and that, that's how you learn that's how you grow and, and knowing that uh, God knows that uh, nobody's perfect he was patient with his people although he was strict he, he knew that they were flawed so he was long suffering he was merciful he's merciful to his own people and he's merciful to the fallen world he wants every, every man woman and child to be saved and even when they make a mistake continually in one stroke, it's a one continual offence to God, he's still mercifully outstretched and patient. He will allow these things and he will judge these things. And we're judged by the consequences of rejecting that which is true. But he holds back, he's merciful in his judgments because he doesn't want people to perish. You know, he doesn't delight in anyone prematurely dying. He understands all the um, injustices, the, the death of children, the death of young people, the death of the frail, the innocent, the uh, propagation and the predominance and the success and the the triumph of evil over good. He knows these things. He's made provisions. He died to save everybody now. That everybody now, in whatever circumstances they are in life, in history, in now, in future, can be saved now in their life, the moment they believe, that they can escape this probation and receive the hope to come. And that's Jew and Gentile alike. And uh, you can measure, 
that which is false in the world and which is uh, domineering, which is uh, whether that's by conspired design, whether that's by multiple collective ambiguous design with a little conspiracy or multiple conspiracies massed into one conspiracy. That one conspiracy is just evil against good, which lies, which cheats, which is manifest if it's allowed in the human race by by the free agency of, of the choices and the rebellion and rejection, the willful rebellion of the truth by the human race and the majority. So if you want to escape, you can be that minority of person that, is, that has been saved, that will be saved, that's received that salvation. It's not a gimme. God has saved, but it's not a gimme for everyone. It needs to be received. It doesn't justify sinning. You know, sin is sin. Sin is death. And God's a consuming fire. So if you die, you'll, you'll remain forever in the presence of that consuming fire. If you're holy and you're, you're grafted into that holy fire, you're not going to be outside that, you're not going to be feeling the adverse effects of being locked out of that, you're going to be serving the glory of that, you're going to be part of that, for the purpose of that, you're going to have that in your life, that is going to be your life, because that is what life has purchased within you, and that's eternal life, and that's joy, and that's hope, and that's peace, and that's equality, and that's uh, righteousness, and that's everything that's pure and good and right for society, right for man. Right for man, right for women, right for children. And we have that all peppered over the world. That came from the Jews, and that only came from the Jews, that only come from Jehovah. Through the Israelites, through the prophets, through the patriarchs, through the word. And through the prophets unto Christ, through the apostles, through the establishing of the rock and the gospel, the preaching of the word faithfully through the generations. The, God is faithful, continually true, he's the same today. And he's um, mercifully outstretched to Jew and Gentile. And anyone that is humble enough and contrite enough to, to turn and seek and look and believe, or believe and turn and seek and look and receive that which is true and faithful. And I'm going to close that and leave that testimony um, and outreach and invite people to consider all these things, um, to measure, to, to um, examine and to see that f apparent fruit by the light and word of God. And I hope that's been a, a blessing to anyone that is... Uh, a brother or sister and um, anyone in life who's who's, who's seeking uh, the truth that's been touched their lives by the grace of God it's not by my merit it's just by uh, reaching out in faith to people with the gospel and to consider the alternative to look at the fruit weigh it up with the truth to invite people to reason the truth through in their own mind and their own hearts however feebly i present it however incoherent i may be however my um, grammatical um, articulation is flawed if you if you know what if you know i've said something wrong and you correct me well then you knew what i was saying so you you didn't really need to bring it up you know you, you're the spell checker if you want to find fault and split hairs, you're going to dismiss the Pearl of Great Price. I'm not the Pearl of Great Price. I'm a sinner that's received it and offering it in faith to the lost world. To so any any young man, any young woman, any broken life, any um, proud, um, successful, um, upheld life, upheld by... Um, the predominance of privilege rather than the grace of God the grace of God is open for all sinners and if you think you're righteous and you're without sin how do you know you're righteous unless you that righteousness is of you're born again and it's of God if you deny Jesus Christ and you say you're righteous 
Your righteousness is an oily rag, you're wicked. Because you've rejected the word and the source of your righteousness that you're, you've been allotted through your genetic inheritance. And that comes from the word and seed of Genesis. And it's a faithful record. And on the close, in love, in, in sincerity, in faith, in the name of the beloved Holy Lord. And in, the, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Son, Lord Jesus Christ, and, uh, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen.